Hey, how have you been? How you doing out there? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long time. You've been all right? Hey, this is our Benny Bami Daily, and I am back. <laughs> how long has it been? Feels like it's been about two weeks. Feels like it's been longer than that. I haven't seen you in a long time. Have you been wondering where I was? Did you miss me at all? Anyone? Anyone? I missed you. <sighs> I just got on here to do just a little bit of chit-chatting. Just because I haven't seen any of you in a long time. I've watched some videos out there, but I haven't really... I might have seen them at maybe like 3 a.m., Okay, because my schedule is now super duper crazy, like extra crazy. So a couple of videos back, I said I was going to kind of test the waters to see if I could actually uh, be brave enough to go into the Philadelphia school system of all places, the Philadelphia public school system and uh, make a difference in some children's lives. Saying how I do that, you know, for adults all the time, I said, hey, you know, why not share the wealth and see if I can, you know, aid in helping some children um, put on their thinking caps and go out there and be the best that they can be, right? Whoo! So, I gotta tell you, in the past two weeks, I'm doing these two jobs, and you know I do other stuff too. Let me tell you about these kids. <laughs> so I've, I've been trying my hand in a couple of different classes to try and figure out, is this something, one, that I want to do? Uh, on top of everything else, like I'm never going to stop doing several things. I don't believe in doing, you know, one thing. That's boring. But um, so I've had the most fortunate opportunity to try my hand in a, um, in a few grades. So um, if you want to lose weight, let me just say this because I know I'm all over the place. In the past two weeks, I have lost weight, okay? The pounds just dropped off. How? 35, 35 second graders. 35 second graders and no help, okay? No co-teacher, no teacher's aid, Nobody. They just threw me in. <laughs> 35. 35 second graders. For real. Oh my goodness. So needless to say, we have had a fantastic time. You know, when I first came in the first day, you know, the kids were looking at me suspiciously and they're like, who is that, right? And it was a struggle. It was a tussle all day. I mean, kids were running. They uh, they had on uniforms, right? But the little girls had on little skirts. These girls were sliding under the desks, like literally like sliding under the desks. The boys are like jumping up and down on the chairs. Um, they're throwing iPads. They're throwing them around in the classroom, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to tell what school this is. But, like I said, it's the Philadelphia public school system. And, you know, we, we hear about, you know, inner city schools. And we hear about, you know, uh, the challenges there. Uh, there are some grave challenges, but I got to tell you, those kids, <laughs> oh my God. By the time the girls were like sliding under the desks, I'm like, oh, no, 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 you don't want to do that. Hey, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, 
Then we go out for recess. I wanted to go to the inside gym because first of all, it's, it's cold. Like it was hot in the winter and now it's spring and it's cold in the spring, right? So I didn't want to go outside. I wanted to take them, you know, into the, uh, into the gym. So they're please, 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 please. Can we go, you know, can we go outside? So I'm just looking at them. I'm just like, all right, get your coats, get your coats. So they're like, yay. So they get their coats and we go outside, right? So it had snowed, was it last week? One of these weeks, it snowed. And there was just like little morsels, little crevices of snow in the corners of the, you know, the yard, the, you know, the schoolyard. There's little crevices of snow in the corners. And these children, I don't know how they made like snowballs this big out of that little bit of snow and they're just like throwing it at each other and now then they're throwing the snowballs at me and I'm just like <laughs> this is crazy what am I doing this is crazy and um and so I had a sampling of that so that that was good I, I love them you know it would be a challenge, you know, to kind of settle them down because they were very, very restless. Okay. I'll just say that, you know, it was as if they had eaten, you know, 10 donuts and chocolate milk and a cookie <laughs> for breakfast. Um, it was, it was, it was an interesting challenge. So then I decided, let me try my hand at some older children, some older kids, right? So I go to the um, sixth graders, right? I go in that classroom, you know, another day. And um, needless to say, there wasn't a big difference in behavior. There wasn't a big difference. I would say that in that classroom, they started throwing a ball around. Like, I'll just say this. this, this the school that I went to, um, I found out later that it, you know, lots of behavioral challenges there. And, you know, that's the work that I do. <laughs> but I work with adults, right? So... There and there, I'm supposed to be, you know, teaching this social studies class. I'm like, you know, take out your books and, you know, are they taking out their books? They, they took out their books, right? It was a fight to get them to open them. That's unfortunate, right? But here's the thing. They started throwing a ball around. I'm like, okay, knock it off. Just, just stop. But before I could even get the full sentence out, you know that ball hit me upside the head, right? The ball just boop while I'm sitting at the desk. So everybody's laughing. I'm looking at them like, for real? Seriously? So I had to take the ball so that I wouldn't get like another concussion. And um, we proceeded from there. So, you know, by the end of the day, it, that was why, <laughs> but by the end of the day, you know, I was able to like develop some little morsel of relationship, you know, with them. And then finally, I went to the eighth graders and um, they, uh, what can I say about them? They, um, Very mature for their age, very mature, probably a little too mature. Uh, the young ladies have decided to have their skirts come right beneath the private part, like right under the private parts. And this is, you know, acceptable in the school, obviously. But, you know, for me, you know, I'm um, finding myself, you know, saying to the girls, 
pull it down a little. It doesn't pull down. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the guys were tussling and fighting and tussling. And if you said, if you if you try to send me out of this room, I'm not leaving. And I'm like, why are you trying to fight with me? I'm not even here to fight. You know, what are you here for? Well, what do you think? <laughs> I'm here to teach. Take out your books. So, um, it was an interesting, very interesting two-week opportunity to kind of feel my way through and to ponder over, is this something that I want to add to my repertoire, okay? I don't know yet, but it really does rejuvenate you when you do something new, when you try your hand at something that you've not done before and um i can't say that i've not completely done this before like maybe like 20 years ago you know so i was a youngin i um i was a preschool teacher so i mean it's very different um thing but um that was that was interesting too so we will see because I can't say that I've not been sending out my CV, or as we say in the U.S., resume. I can't say that I've not sent my resume out also to universities to be um, an adjunct teacher as well. You know, like I said, I just want to try my hand at some different things. Um, it has... Uh, awakened me not that I was really sleep <laughs> but it has awakened me um, I like variety I like to try new things I like to do different things and I like to do <laughs> scary things not scary like literally scary but scary like going into a new environment and just seeing what great things can come out of it you know um, I had some wonderful uh, experiences, and then I, I saw some very disheartening things as well, you know. These kids, these children, I don't really like to say kids, but these children um, need a lot of support. They need a lot of genuine love, care, attention. They need stability, you know. They need stability. They need to know that even though their behavior is the way that it was, <laughs> that rather than uh, scorn them and punish them, uh, rather kind of guide them. But you have to be ever so gentle and delicate when you um, deal with children that have had some semi uh, traumatic or fully traumatic experiences in their lives. Um, one of the things that I saw was, uh, particularly in an inner city school, you know, um, predominantly, uh, African American children, predominantly, um, Latino children, all of the teachers were white. And I'm looking, I'm like, huh? Hmm. Interesting dynamic. Very interesting dynamic. The other dynamic that I noticed was I'm looking in the other classrooms and I'm listening. And uh, in other classrooms, it was, ah, woo, ah, you know, it was, you know, loud and boisterous and a little wild, right? And uh, I also heard the teachers yelling at the children, you know, like um, the group I had, one of the groups that I had, you know, I'm just like, all right now, come on, come on, knock it off, come, come on, you know, and uh, they would bring it down, they'd bring it down some, but the disciplinarian came in, um, excuse me. What are you doing in here? And I'm looking at her like, 
really? This is it? So, did the children keep quiet? They sure did. They shut their mouths. They shut their mouths out of fear. And then later on, they'll just be aggressive. You know, they'll just have aggression towards each other because they can't fight back at her. And we don't know what they've endured at home. It is the responsibility of the teacher, I believe, to find some of those things out. But when you have a classroom with so many children in it, with no added supports, like there needed to be supports in that uh, second grade classroom, needed to be supports there, not just one teacher having to manage all of them. You know, what I liked about it is the fact that they were like, you know, can you help me? Can you help me? Like they genuinely wanted to learn. They genuinely wanted to do their work. Most of them, most of them. They, you know, they had the attention span of nanoseconds, you know, because no one kind of worked with them. And they had to go to the bathroom like every three minutes right? Like all of them. Can I get a tissue? Can I go to the bathroom? Can I get some water? You know, and I'm just kind of observing them, right? And they're, they're going out a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, there was no structure, no structure. So that is where I've been. And um, why don't you try it out? Try something new. I'm not saying, you know, work with, you know, 35 children with no assistance, but um, try something out that you've never tried before and watch what happens, you know, and always, you know, I'm always telling this advice, but always add a element of something where you're helping someone else because in the end, it just, just makes you feel so good, you know, after having helped someone and make a difference in their lives you know so when i hear heard the children saying are you coming back tomorrow that feels so good that feels so good i was working with a couple of women uh yesterday evening and um one of them just walked by me and said you know what i i really appreciate you thanks for looking out for me you know that just that warms my heart because it tells me that I'm doing my work. I am living my life's purpose. When I see the joy in people's eyes and when they say thank you to me, it warms my heart. And when I walked in and those children were like, yay! What an entrance. Where are you going to get that anywhere else? I felt like a star for a moment, you know? Well, I just thought I would come in and talk to you for a little while. It was good seeing you. Hope to see you really, really soon. This is Aveni. I'll talk to you later. Peace.